What if I told you that cleaning up ocean plastic might be the worst thing we could do? Crazy, right? But scientists have uncovered something so shocking, it's making us rethink everything. Stay tuned, because what you're about to learn will blow your mind. Let's dive into this mind-bending perspective. Plastic pollution in our oceans is a story we all know too well. Plastic choking marine life, devastating habitats, it's a disaster. But now some scientists are asking us to hit the brakes on ocean plastic cleanup. Why? Marine biologist Rebecca Helm and her team have uncovered something astonishing. Tiny organisms called the Neuston, algae, bacteria and nearly invisible animals are living on the very plastic we're trying to remove. These creatures play a vital role in maintaining the ocean's delicate ecosystem from supporting food webs to breaking down organic matter. One example is the infamous Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a swirling mass of plastic. While it's seen as an environmental catastrophe, Helm's research suggests it's also home to a thriving community of life forms. If we remove the plastic too hastily, we might destroy ecosystems we didn't even know existed. But it's not just about the Neuston. Larger animals and key players in the food chain might also be relying on these floating plastic habitats. The scary part? We don't know the full impact of ripping out this plastic and the organisms it supports. For decades we've fought plastic pollution. We've seen how it harms turtles, birds and fish. And yet, here we are, realizing that blindly cleaning up could cause another kind of damage. Helm warns, some cleanup projects could wipe out entire ecosystems we can't restore. It's a strange twist. Are we accidentally playing with fire while trying to fix the problem? So, should we just let the plastic pile up? Absolutely not! But these scientists urge us to slow down and understand the full story before acting. The ocean is a web of life full of surprises. If we barge in without care, we risk breaking hidden bonds that hold ecosystems together. This isn't about abandoning the fight against pollution, it's about balancing urgency with caution. More research, more understanding, that's what we need. After all, the goal isn't just a cleaner ocean, it's a thriving one. The ocean is mysterious and every action has ripple effects. What do you think? Clean up or pause and study? Let us know in the comments. And hey, for more fascinating stories like this, don't forget to subscribe to Deep Sheet. See you in the next video.